Uh, my name is uh, Warugoro Maina and I work with the uh, Fellowship of Christian Unions of Kenya at the Social Action Desk and also as the Campus Ministry Facilitator for the University of Nairobi Medical School Christian Union. Uh, I am here today uh, to speak about um, the ways in which we can be involved practically as Christians to be able to express our love, our unconditional love of Christ to the world around us and also beyond. During this time we have all been faced by the reality of our own mortality and it is very easy to feel helpless and hopeless at this time. But this situation also offers numerous opportunities to express the unconditional love of Christ to the world around us. And um, as the Bible says in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 and verse 15 to 24, that Christ died on the cross uh, and the sacrifice that he gave, that those who believe in him may not live for themselves, but uh, live for him. And uh, that requires us to to show uncon that unconditional love to the world around us. And I'm going to be talking about uh, four, three things that uh, we can be actively engaged in. And the first one is that we can be involved in uh, providing the right information to the people around us, educating them about the virus, and also being able to educate them about the measures that we all need to take to be able to keep safe. And this also requires us to help them understand that we all need to be sensitive and also love those that are around us as we love ourselves, as the Bible says, by not buying unnecessarily things that we do not need and also for those that are in business, not escalating the prices so that we are all able to afford and to be able to get the essentials that we need during this time. The second thing is uh, being able to share what we have with the, those that are vulnerable and poor and that are not able to take care of themselves and their families. I would also encourage us not to get packages that are meant for the poor and the vulnerable in our society and also helping those that are around us to understand that that is greed and selfishness because when we get those packages that are meant for other people it means that it will not get to the right people that actually need it. And uh, the other thing is being able to support the families of the healthcare workers and everybody else who is offering essential services. It could be our neighbors, it could be our relatives who are out there in the front line and being able to take care of their children and the, their families it will give them um, a sense of uh, security and stability to be able to give their best to the work that they do and also to help uh, our neighbors and our parents and our relatives who are also having their children doing online learning and it is a new territory that we are all trying to understand and having uh, an upper hand of these things, it would be very important for us to support them during this time. Uh, you could also shop for the elderly people, especially those that are in the cities or people who are having uh, different health challenges that are not, uh, it's not advised for them to go out there. You could shop for them or run some errands for them as a way of supporting them. Uh, if you're there as well and you're an employer and this is the time to actually ask whether in what ways you can support your employees who have served you over the years and this includes our house helps, it includes our gardeners, it includes our chefs for those that are fortunate enough to have them and also the security people and uh, my encouragement is that all of us will go an extra mile to think about the people that are around us and what, in what ways we can be able to support and to help them to make their life easier and uh, finally I would encourage us to help in flattening the curve by obeying the government directives and also the health experts that have given directives on how we should relate, on how we should live, things like uh, the curfew, uh, things about traveling, things about washing our hands, social distance. If we are able to just obey these directives, it will keep each one of us safe and those that are around us as well. And uh, also utilizing the platforms that we have to engage uh, the political leaders and also those that are in positions of power and influence to be able to accelerate the process of uh, legislating the, the president directives last week and also uh, 
uh, other things that may come up, such as reallocation of our budget towards the fight against uh, the pandemic, and also just engaging them to be able to be in the front line to engage these issues at their level. And also, finally, to if you have the capacity, if you have the skills to help in making the required protective gears, even things like must, it is uh, to challenge and encourage you to provide your skills to make these uh, protective gears for, to, for people for free or to charge a reasonable fee so that we are all able to contribute towards um, slowing down the spread and to keep our societies and communities safe as well. I pray that you will be counted and you will be found among the people that will be contributing in practical ways to help um, each of us through this pandemic. May the Lord bless you.